Hey everybody, hope you guys are doing all right. Um, I want to say, you know, my hat goes off to all the governors and, uh, you know, pol uh, mayors, people in politics, um, and just people of influence and power, and even people who don't have much influence or power. But th thank you all of you guys who've been speaking up to help perpetuate a good future for America and this world. Um, and I've, I've seen a lot of attention put on to Biden. You guys are, you know, flexing on him. It's good. Um, but don't forget about Congress because they're key to impeaching him. So like the, it's in my opinion because I've actually gone through and written down all however is a hundred senators we have. <clears throat> I did them all. I went through Wikipedia and I wrote down all each one each senator and, and their names and occupation and other things that they do too. A lot of these people have more than one job and they get paid over a hundred thousand um, dollars. but they're key to impeaching Biden and they're also key to helping ensure a good future for humanity in America. So we need to be also looking at our senators and figuring out which ones are corrupt. Which ones aren't, as well as governors, mayors, <clears throat> police, sheriff. I hear a lot of good things about the sheriff, but let's just make sure. I mean, if you have nothing to hide, then you should have no, like, I have no problem being investigated. Investigate me, please. I have nothing to hide, okay? Like, there's nothing, I'm not doing any crime here. So I have no problem you guys looking at me. In fact, I encourage more people looking at, you know, everybody. We should all be examined because we're dealing with a time when there's a heavy, 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 heavy amount of infiltration in this country. And so it's in the good, you know, it would be good for us all to open up our hearts and allow people to see what's going on with us. And, and when I say hearts, I mean just your life, you know, to make sure that people aren't criminals. Because we have a lot of criminals. We have a lot of child abusers. We have a lot of drug traffickers. We have a lot of killers here in this country. And there's, they could be setting up for something much bigger. So it's important. It's imperative for the safety of our future, for our country and for a good future that we examine those in power, not just the president. Also the senators. So, <clears throat> all right. I love you guys. Y'all take care. Bye.